Hi, everyone. It's Bobby Laporte back with another week of Calling the Game, where I share my own experience and insights while giving you valuable tools you can use to call your own game and plan the best moves for you and your team. This week, I want to continue on the importance of bringing people together versus always meeting remotely and why that's so important to your career success. With the many upcoming cross-company meetings planned over the next few months, such as leadership forums, departmental offsites, and company retreats, I've been encouraging leaders to take advantage of these important opportunities to promote their team's work and advance their careers. I've established the case for being more thoughtful and intentional in preparing for these meetings. Now, I'd like to share some specific guidance to prepare for these meetings, from who to seek out and why and what to say. So here we go. First, before you develop your meeting plan, be very clear on your team's value contribution to the company and who should know about it and who could potentially benefit from what you and your team do. Second, to support these conversations, make sure you develop some talking points that could include recent successes your team's had and how they've created impact on the company's most important goals. Third, Find opportunities to connect with your boss's peers if they're in attendance at this meeting. And make sure you share with them what you and your team are working on because this makes your boss and you look good. And it can also create more advocates for your work. And fourth, find career learning opportunities in these meetings. Think about a senior leader in the organization that you admire. Is there a recent success this person has achieved that you can acknowledge and ask about how they made it happen. This shows respect and appreciation for their success, and you just might learn something new. And then finally, you know, this is common sense, but make sure you follow up on any key conversations. To thank people, to acknowledge, to share information. Your goal is to keep the conversation going and the connection growing. And if this sounds like self-promotion, you bet, it definitely is. But hey, most of your peers will probably take these opportunities for granted. They're just gonna show up, hang out with people they already know and just coast through the meeting. But if you are serious about managing your career, if you understand the importance of building a cross-functional network that can provide visibility and advocacy for your team, and if you believe you can always learn from others' career journeys, you should invest the time to be prepared for these high-value meetings. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's Calling the Game. I hope this helps you gear up for a great week and navigate any curveballs that may come your way.